Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy, Nasty Moto, and uh, we are back at it again with the Bob build. This is part four, I believe, and uh, this thing's coming along, so I'll show you guys what we're working with today. All right, so as you guys saw in the last video, we kind of mocked up the whole ski. We had the 300SX top with the uh, Wave Blaster 2 bottom with the motor on there, and as you can see, this exhaust is just not gonna fit. So I think our first step is gonna be to remove that. I think we're gonna be using a combination of a 701 exhaust system with the a 650 stock exhaust system. And hopefully that will run it, you know, up through there and then out the front. And I think we can go, you know, through here and then run a rear exhaust. So that's the plan for now. I'm not really sure how hard that's gonna be to actually accomplish, but I mean, that's just kind of what we're thinking. Um, but yeah, a lot of today is just gonna be to, um, or a lot of trimming because as you can see, it's still kind of just fitting weird because a lot of stuff just needs trimmed up. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's hit it. So just got this exhaust pulled. Now we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the Wave Blaster 2 bottom and see how the hole fits now. All right, so I just got the um, top thrown on the bottom with the motor in there. And as you can see, with no gap right there, kind of where I cut it. The motor is really far forward and that's obviously a problem for flipping is you want it as far back as possible. But what uh, some things that I'm thinking to help that, um, gas tank kind of fits perfect right here uh, with the whole you know curvature of the tank and everything. Kind of sits really nice. Um, definitely have to you know figure out some ways to strap it in and if it's even gonna ride right there, not really sure. Um, just kind of a thought, but if we don't do that, I'll probably have a like smaller, like two and a half gallon tank up the front just to keep, you know, the weight in the back. Um, and then also, we're going to probably have to chop the hull a little bit just to, you know, kind of make things proportionate. And, you know, those are just some of the things we're going to have to do, but it is what it is. So, yeah, right here, obviously, I'm going to need to trim kind of curve those a little bit to help sit in the hall. And then same with the back, not really sure what we're gonna do with that. But my whole goal right now is just to get this thing to actually fit under, underneath the hall so we can kind of flip it over and see what we're working with. So we're gonna start cutting and see how it works out. All right, so we just did some trimming on these edges and got it lined up pretty well. And honestly, it's pretty straight, surprisingly, because I really didn't measure much. I just slapped it together and you know, it turned out pretty good. So yeah, I'm waiting on some panel bonds because I'm gonna panel bond all this. It's basically panel bonds, just two part epoxy. And you just put it on there and then you can sand it. And obviously we'll have to get some body filler for that and kind of conform it together, sand everything down and then paint it. So I think that's good for this side. Uh, on the other side, let me flip this thing over real quick. All right, so on this side, I obviously have to make some 
uh, cutouts and gloss them in right there and then right there just to kind of fill the gaps. And then as far as right here, I probably will stick some glass along that edge and same on this edge. And I'll probably be putting a metal plate like right here and just to help, you know, sturdy it up a little bit. And then the same on this side or on the back side, I'll probably be putting some angle iron along these rails and just to help hold that bottom in a little bit better. So yeah, I think our uh, next step is gonna be to get that panel bond in and then start chopping these rails. So I will see you guys when we get the panel bond in. All right, and just like that, we are back here the next day. No panel bond in hand. Unfortunately, that's not gonna come in until Friday, but uh, we do have quite a bit more to do before we even need to use that stuff. Uh, first off, we need to chop these rails and get some more room for some footholds. So I already have this side off. As you can see, all the padding, just need to take off that old plastic. And then same for this side, padding and plastic. So yeah, I think I'm gonna chop it probably about half an inch to an inch. And I think that will give us plenty of room. So yeah, let's uh, start chopping these rails. All right, guys, so as you saw here, we finished chopping up the rails, left about probably about half an inch on each side. And I think that will give us plenty of room for footholds. And you can kind of see what I'm saying with the angle iron. We close that up, put some angle iron right here, put some through bolts through it, and then just glass over everything. I think that will help it, you know, be a lot more sturdy. So yeah, now, uh, now I think our next step is gonna be to cut some of this and make it into our floor or our foot, you know, panels, whatever. And then same for right here, you know, make a cutout. And then same for the inside. So I think we're gonna cut some, uh, cut some pieces off the Wave Blaster 2 hole and fit them up. This is what we came up with for the foothold area. As you can see, I literally just cut bottoms out of the uh, Wave Blaster 2. Kind of just really roughed, mocked them up. So as you can see, yeah, this is just. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so here's the sides. As you can see, those will just go like that. Get glass on there. Same for the other side. Get glass like that. And then as far as these, it's really hard because there's a hump right here because of the 155 millimeter pump. So we're gonna have to, I think, trim around here and just kind of fit it against this pump the best that we can because we also have the trim cable, which, you know, you can't really do anything with that. So we're gonna have to just work around it. And I think we kind of came up with the best situation. Uh, I have that board like that. And then everything else just kind of fits around it. But yeah, we'll have to trim it the best we can because we really want our footholds as low in the hole as possible. So like somewhere right here. And I think we can even cut out some pieces of the Wave Blaster 2 to make those footholds, like these uh, these curves right here. So I think we can rig up something like that, hopefully save some money. And I think we'll be good to go as far as footholds. Um, but everything else like around here and stuff, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on my free time because it's kind of a pain and it's really not that fun to watch. So I'll show you guys the final result in the next video. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the, uh, the end of part four of the Bob build. So if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and uh, make sure to subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.